All right, this is <clears throat> the 7th of August. As you can see, I'm still struggling with how this planking is going to go here. And uh, on the basis that we're going to be using uh, three planks from the uh, starting with a garboard, and then normally it would be two broads or one broad that joins it up to the first knuckle you see. You know, when, you know coming down from the bottom, the first knuckle you come to there is it's a straight line that used to be, according to the drawings, had uh, two planks in there. But <clears throat> I've laid a four inch spatten over, starting at uh, the bottom here, trying to allow for the fact that you need to have a certain amount of width here, midships. Uh, and this is, this is giving me about five and a half inches there. And that's about as narrow a plank as I want to make it, you know, and uh, still have it. But if you take a straight line, a straight plank, and lay it down, you can see what happens to it when it sweeps over the, the frames. It just goes all the way almost up to the top of the stem. Meaning that, uh, as you can see, just if it was one plank here, the width in this area would have to be something like about you know, right up, that's the widest spot of the plank. It would have to be about 18 inches wide there and not give any room for any other planks at the top. It would be ridiculous. So in order, in order to have a boat with, uh, with, with clean looking lines on it, we've got to have to build the, uh, have to make the, the strakes a little bit more reasonable. And uh, I've marked off a spot where the, I think the first strake is going to come down, the top of the strake will be this line right here. And, uh, and then there will two, be two others fit into it. The two battens you see at the bottom, the skinny battens, represent the shear batten and the, uh, the binder batten, which are the, f the first two knuckles you see here. And uh, as you can see, that, that provides a fairly smooth line. But even then, I'm going to need quite a wide board to make up that shear plank. Uh, it turns out that the, that the binder plank, which rests on this part of the, of the uh, frame, uh, rides fairly flat all the way around. I can use an 8 inch plank from front to back with no scarfing or anything in it and and it should lay in fine here and I can I can spile a, a good plank out of that but it the uh, the need for you know creating three planks in the area from from the bottom down to this first knuckle here uh, that uh, means these planks are in order to go around and not dive up to the front are going to have to be scarfed at angles uh, so that the the plank will actually rest you know come at, at an angle here and be scarfed in here and, uh, and, and, and you can't, you know, keep the, the boats intact. It's not always a good idea from what I'm reading to use any scarfs at the, at the center of the boat. So it said they should be up front. And uh, as you can see, I've removed frame three here in order to get rid of the gap that I had previously mentioned in here. Uh, so I'm going to have to make a new frame three that will fit the lines of these battens that I'm putting in and, uh, you know, then reinstall it so that I don't have a gap issue anymore to deal with and I don't have to do any shimming. But getting back to the scarfing of the, of the planks, the, uh, the, the plank, the garboard plank is going to have to be made up of three pieces and uh, one at each end that will come about five feet up to a point about in here, about 10 inches 
uh, 10 inches away from, you know, uh, toward amidships from the uh, frame two on both sides. And, you know, it's the same coming from the, uh, the aft end of the ship into, uh, and then uh, I can, you know, in e each, even those two uh, five foot lengths that will have to be scarfed uh, will have to be 11 inches wide to uh, to cover the area starting down here and it'll come up across through here and this area right in here is going to require an 11 inch wide plank so but the center plank will be uh, can be used I can use an 8 inch plank for that I have lumber here. I have three 20-footers. Uh, actually, I got, yeah, I have three 20-footers left of the, uh, of the eight-inch wide plank, and, you know, all I need, well, actually, I'm going to be needing two of them for the, uh, for the binder, and then the, the third one I can use for the garbard in here, uh, and I guess I'll be using the rest of my 11 inch wide planks to to make the uh, the two pieces the two pieces of the uh, of the broad anyhow that's where it's at at the moment and uh, I'm I'm still struggling about the sequence about cutting the pieces Fitting, laying them out at the at the necessary angles, and uh, and then cutting, uh, do the spiling work for them. You know, you can't lay this this batten. You see, this four inch batten here will not work as a spiling batten. Uh, it you can't get a batten to fit that that kind of an area. So I'm st struggling with how to spile the garbard plank even if I do uh, a three-piece scarfed garbard plank you know I'm, I'm still trying to imagine how I'm going to spile it so that I get a, a good layout on it and then cut it and lay it down and hope that it that it matches up against the stems and and seals up against the bottom fine Anyhow, just small challenges. We'll get around to it sooner or later.